Hi, I'm Nadia. And I'm Nicole, and welcome to the Wealth Twins channel. Today we're going to show you how you can use Cash App to easily start investing in the stock market. We're going to break out our phones and walk you through step by step. Step by step, people. So that you can follow along with us. Now, this video is meant to teach you what you need to know to immediately begin buying stock with Cash App. Mm -hmm. So if that sounds good to you, hit that like button and let's get started stock using a cash app app this will be the first screen you will see down at the bottom you will notice a squiggly arrow this arrow represents the stock market press the arrow and you'll be led to a home screen now when you want to buy a stock you can do it a few different ways you can do it by ticker or you can do it by categories now when you go to this page you will see that you have categories, performance, or advance. These are three ways that you can filter out companies so that you can easily see a company you might want to buy. Let's go through each one of them. First, the categories. These are actually sectors. Now, a sector or a category is just a general category where a company can belong. Say, for instance, Apple. Apple is a tech company. Now, if you want to filter companies by their specific category, you just click on category and then you can choose which categories you only want to see. So let's again, let's do technology. We apply this filter and all the stocks we're gonna see, there's 277 that you can buy using Cash App. And these are all the technology companies that you are able to buy using Cash App. Now say you don't want this type of filter, you just easily go down Press the button again, and you reset. Okay, this takes out the filter, no more filters. Now let's go to the performance tab. The performance tab is pretty interesting. This allows you to filter out companies based on how well they're doing in the market, percentage wise, and by time period. Now, if you wanna see how well a stock has been performing over a certain time period, the first thing you're gonna do is plus uh, press the plus button. They will show you stocks from that are performing 5% or higher all the way up to 50% or higher. And the time period where you can view these stocks goes from one week to one year. So for instance, if I did 50% or higher with a time period of one year, that means I'm looking for stocks that have increased their price 50% or more within the last year. Let's see if there are any companies like that that you can buy on Cash App. There are actually 519 companies that have increased their cash, their market price over 50% in the last year. That is fantastic. But don't get so excited because what you should know, there's a rule when it comes to investing. Past performance does not predict future performance, okay? So even though a stock has gone up 50% or more in the last year, it does not mean the stock is going to continue to go up, okay? It doesn't mean it's not going to continue to go up, but it's not a definite. So I like to maybe, instead of doing 50%, let's make it a little bit more reasonable. Let's say a stock that has gone 5% or higher within the last year and see what we have. Again, you have over 1,200 companies who you can buy their stock on Cash App just by using this filter, which is a great little feature. Now, let's say we wanna take off this filter, let's reset it, done. Now we wanna to go to Advanced. Advanced, just like it says is Advanced, is not necessary for you to use in order to purchase or buy stock on Cash App, but it's a good feature to just know. With this, you can look at companies that pay dividends, companies that have upcoming earnings reports, it just gives you a little bit of way, a more of a way to filter out companies based on some qualities that you like. All right. So again, this is advanced. You don't need it. So we're going to go here. Now, underneath, these are also, these squares are also categories. Just a nice way to look at them and easier to get to. You can easily filter out companies and just look by sector. Let's go into sports and gaming. Boom. These are all the sports and gaming companies that you can buy on Cash App. 
Then again, you have subcategories and again, you can do performance or advanced. So you can go within a category and then do subcategories to even get a more narrow view and help you filter out stocks. But let's just go quickly and let's do something very simple just to buy your first stock. We're gonna go with newly added stock. We're gonna click Warby Parker. Now this is just to show you what it looks like when you go to pick any of the stocks that you want and you're thinking about buying. You're gonna see a screen here that's gonna show you one, the name of the company, what the company's doing in terms of is it going, is the market price going up? Is the market price going down? Over what period? So this is a graph that shows you over what period, what the stock is doing. So over one day, Warby Parker is up 1%, a little up higher than 1%. Now, you can go as far as it can on this app. Right now, let's see one year. As you can see over a one year period, Warby Parker is actually down 1.6%. So it's a quick, easy way just to get a snapshot of what this particular company has done since it's been on Cash App. Now, you can either choose two things, one or two options. You can follow this company to see how the price of the stock is gonna go up and down and you just wanna get some research and more information before you buy the stock. You do that just by pressing follow. You'll start getting information about the stock on a daily basis or you can buy from here. And all you do to buy this company's stock is to press the buy button. Now before that, let's scroll down and see what else is also on this page. Now, you can look at some market news from this particular page. You can also learn some key stats about this particular company. So it's giving you a summary of this company, a summary of the market price, the stock price, a, a summary of the key stats that you should look at when it comes to stocks. Okay, tell you the daily value and the PE ratio and if the company has a dividend or not. So this company, Wabi Parker, does not provide a dividend. You can see dividend yield in A. Gives you a quick look at the financials of this company. They talk about gray being revenue and blue is net profit. As of now, this company is not profitable in 2020. After 2020, they actually lost $55 million, so it's not profitable, but they are getting a lot of revenue. And this could be expected for a company that is pretty new and that's still growing. Now it gives you a little bit more about what Wabi Parker is. So you can see that they are a company that deals with glasses and contacts and also eye exams. It tells you about the CEO, the number of employees, and what the stock symbol is. Stock symbol, another name for the stock symbol is actually ticker. Now on Cash App, you can actually find any stock you want using this ticker. So if you knew a particular company like Wabi Parker and you knew their stock symbol or their ticker symbol was WRBY, you can actually find it just by typing in WRBY. So let's do that. WRBY. This is where you would plug in the ticker symbol at the top and as a result, you get Wabi Parker. Boom. We see Wabi Parker. Now let's go to buy Wabi Parker. You can actually do a one-time order where you can buy a fraction, fractional share of Wabi Parker, which is a very nice feature on Cash App. Not every company allows you to buy fractional shares, but Cash App allows you to buy fractional shares through their companies that they have on their site. So you can choose, even though the stock price of Wabi Parker is not a dollar, you can choose to buy only a dollar worth of Wabi Parker. Or you can actually choose the amount of money you want to pay or how much stock in terms of dollar amount you want to buy of Wabi Parker. Okay, and you just enter the money amount that you want. Okay, and then press next. Now you can also choose to buy using custom orders. One order type that you can use is auto invest where you can actually set it up that you're going to invest in this particular company, Wabi Parker, on a daily, weekly, or bi-weekly basis. Now you can do that for any stock. We're just using Wabi Park as an example. Another thing you can do is a custom purchase order. Now, when you do a custom purchase order, what this actually is, is a limit order. You can choose the price you want to pay for Wabi Park. Even if the price is right now, the current price is $53. But maybe you think that price is a little too high. 
So you say, you know what? I don't want to buy Wobby Parker at the market price of $53. I'd rather set my own price and say, I'll buy a full share of Wobby Parker at $52.52. This is a limit order, okay? And you can set that limit order and you can say, okay, I would like to buy it at $52.52 and I would like to buy this much, say $20 worth of it when the price goes down to $52.52. Now, there's $20 worth when the price goes down. This again, you're buying a fraction of the share when the price is there. So when the price goes down and you pay $20 for it, you're actually gonna get more, more of that share, ownership of a share than you would at the current market price. Once you pick that, you have to then say, how long is your limit order going to be allowed? How long are you saying that I'm willing to pay at this share price. I'm willing to buy this company at this share price. You can have that order outstanding for a day, a week, 30 days, or 90 days. And that's because when it comes to limit orders, when you're setting the price of when you want to buy a company, the market might not go down to the price that you want. So you have to be willing to be patient to get to the price that you want if you're doing limit orders. If you're doing a market order, you don't have to worry about it. You pay whatever the price is in the market that day. Okay, but only when you're doing special market orders do you have to go and add how long you want this order to be out. So let's get out of there. Let's just buy a one-time order. Let's buy $1 of Warby Parker. We press next. Your first time you try to buy stock on Cash App, you will, have to, you will end up getting this screen where it says you need to identify and they need to have you verify before you can complete the purchase. You have to answer questions about your identity and give information about the debit card or anything that's connected to your Cash App account in order to complete the purchase of your first stock on Cash App. Now, once your identity has been verified on Cash App, your purchase will go through. You only have to go through that process one time. Now, after you decide you're going to buy it, you have to confirm that you want to buy or sell a stock. Now, you do this either one of two ways. You're either going to put a fingerprint sensor or you're going to touch the fingerprint sensor or you're going to use a special pen that's provided when you're actually setting up your account to trade. When you do that, it gives Cash App the notification that it's actually you, the person that want, who actually owns this cash app on the phone that wants to buy the stock, okay? The user pin is something just like any password you use, you do not share that pin with anyone because you're responsible to pay for any stock that you buy. So this is just a double confirmation to let Cash App know that it's actually you who wants to buy the stock, okay? And after you do this, you can buy the stock. After you purchase a stock and you confirm your identity, you will get this. Congratulations, you are now an owner of the stock and you can track the performance of the investment right there. Now this is a stock I bought upstart. I paid $1 for it, so I bought a fractional share of it. And now I can track the gains I make on this stock, the price of the stock, and all the key stats that I saw before on the other stock we were looking at. So on that one page, I can find the stock that I own and see everything at a glance after you purchase the stock. If you want to see how your investment's doing, you go back to the home page where the money sign is and you're going to click the squiggly arrow again. This is your investing home page now. And you just scroll down this right here. It gives you a snapshot of how much you have invested and what has happened today. So, so far since I bought the security, I made two cents. You go down, I have invested a dollar, I made two cents. I have a 2% total gain. And it tells me what stocks I own. Right now, I only own Upstart, and I bought a dollar of Upstart. And again, from here, you can quickly trade again. Go by the categories, or you can go by the ticker. TGT, Target. And we 
I can do everything again and quickly buy again. Now, if you've followed our channel for a while, you know that we're all about teaching hardworking people how to easily invest in the stock market so that they can build wealth to live the life they want to live without having to work forever. Mm -hmm. We want you to have the ability to take care of yourself and the people you love. And in order to do that, you have to use your income to build wealth. Yep. Now, one of the quickest ways to build wealth is through investing. Yeah. If you like how we did this tutorial, download our free workbook by clicking the link in the description of this video. If you found any value in this video, show these twins some love, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone you care about. See you guys in the next video. See you in the next video.